This video will guide you through the simple process of how to create a killer contest landing page in 2022 by using a combination of Seedprod Website Builder and RafflePress. Both of these are incredibly powerful tools to help build your online business and brand. By the end of this video, you will understand how to build your own landing pages and to make them look exactly how you want all on your own. Everyone here at RafflePress loves having you part of the community, so please subscribe, hit the like button, and the bell to be notified of future videos. So first I have a clean installation of WordPress and we're going to install two different plugins. The first one is SeedProd, which you can find at seedprod.com or the link in the description below. And the second of course is RafflePress at rafflepress.com or the link in the description below. Now SeedProd is the best drag and drop WordPress website builder. It just released its brand new theme builder, which you can create complete websites and themes from scratch. And it works fantastic with RafflePress, which of course is the best WordPress giveaway plugin. So this is the best way to create contests and giveaways for your website. So on the Seedprod website, let's go ahead and click on Get Seedprod Now and select the account that makes the most sense for you. I'm gonna be using the pro versions of both plugins today to get the most out of them. When you have an account, let's go ahead and click on Login. Enter your email address, password, and click Login. Next, let's go to the Downloads tab here, the second one from the left. And let's click on Download Landing Page Pro to download that. We'll also need the License Key here in the bottom left-hand corner. You can click the icon here to copy that to your clipboard. We can close this window for now and come back to WordPress. Let's go to Plugins and Add New. Up top, let's click on Upload Plugin and choose the file that you just downloaded. Next, let's click on Install Now and activate the plugin. It'll ask you for the License Key. Let's go ahead and paste that in here and Verify Key. If everything went well, you should see a green success message. Next, let's go ahead and install RafflePress with the exact same process. Select the account that makes the most sense for you and then click on Login. Next, let's put in your email address, your password, and click on Login. Let's click on the Downloads tab here, second from the left, and click on Download RafflePress. You'll also need the license key here, so let's click the icon again to get that license key, and we can close this. Let's go to Plugins on the left-hand side and Add New, Upload Plugin, and this time I'm going to drag the zip file from this bar down at the bottom and put it on the Choose File button. If that's not possible for you, you can do this first step that we did with Seedpro by clicking Choose File. Next, let's go ahead and click on Install Now, activate the plugin, and let's paste that license key right here. Let's verify the key, and again, if everything went well, you should see a green success message. You can close this tab at the bottom if you have it. Let's go ahead and create our giveaway on the left-hand side here under RafflePress, Create Add New, and give it a name. I'll call mine Orlando Trip. We'll do a classic giveaway. We'll use this template. Here on the left-hand side, we can see the details. This is everything that's in this panel here. We have Actions design and settings. Let's give this a name. I'll call this seven day family trip to Orlando. Here at the bottom, you wanna enter some details about the contest. Now keep in mind, we are creating a page for this as well. So you can put a lot of that information inside the page instead. You can also select an image here if you like. So maybe a picture of Orlando or whatever the prize is that you're giving away. For this example, I'm not going to use this. Let's go ahead and just click on done editing. And here's a little preview of what it looks like right now. Now it looks pretty plain, but that's because we're going to embed it on another page. On the left hand side, we can click the start date and time and the giveaway end date and time as well. So I'll pick a couple dates here and I'll pick a couple times here. You can select your time zone as well. Next, let's move under actions. You can pick which actions you want to use for people to be allowed to enter your contest. So it's wise to use different techniques to grow a specific platform. So for example, if you're looking to get more people on Facebook, you can select the Facebook option here to visit us on Facebook. Now, if you have multiple actions, you might want to assign different values of points. So for example, if this one's more high priority and you want people to visit Facebook, you can give people two, three, four, or even five points just for doing so. Other actions, maybe you only give them one point. You can make this mandatory. You can allow daily entries. And then of course you put your link to your page right here. Let's go ahead and add maybe one or two more. There we go, that's good. Certain actions can also be integrated with email. So under the tab here for the join email newsletter, we have select an integration. And here you can integrate with many different types of third-party email marketing services. Next on the left-hand side, let's go under design. And you can change the layout here a bit if you like. I'm just gonna leave this alone. The font, you can update if you like. I'll go with Meriwether with Monstrat. You can change the button color here for the use your email. I think I'll use maybe an orange yellow color here. We're gonna be doing kind of a beach and water theme here. So this looks a little bit like sand. And for the page background, we don't need this because we're gonna be creating the page. Under settings, you have general settings, such as your giveaway name, the permalink, lots of different options here. The giveaway rules, we have a rules generator template here. You can just simply put in your information here and generate rules and that'll do it for you automatically. Please make sure you have a lawyer that goes over everything. We also have the email verification, success tracking, redirect, social logins if you're using this feature, GDPR, recaptcha, 
Gotcha and webhooks. All right, let's go ahead and save this. And if we go under publish, you can see there's multiple ways to do so. We're not going to use any of these right now because we're going to put it directly in a seed prod landing page. Let's close this out. And now we have our contest created. On the left hand side, we can come under seed prod and landing pages. You might notice theme builder here. And this is the new feature that lets you build complete websites from scratch. But in this video, we're just going to be doing the landing pages. And this is a single page that we're going to be creating. So under landing pages here at the bottom, let's go ahead and click on add new landing page. And seed prod comes with over 150 plus professionally designed and mobile friendly templates. In this video, we're going to create a blank template fairly quickly. So let's go ahead and click the check mark and give it a name. I'll just call mine contest and we'll save and start editing the page. Great. So I'm going to have a two column layout. So right here off the bat, I'm going to create this one. And on the right hand side, let's just go ahead and enter our contest right away. So under the advanced section here, we can see the giveaway block. Let's go ahead and drag this over to the right side. If we click the options here on the left hand side, it says to select a giveaway. This is already integrated with raffle press since it's installed. Let's select the giveaway that we just created. And there you go. You can see our entry already. Let's go ahead and save our page and preview it. And here you can see the full contest. Now it has this default picture here that I forgot about. But to remove that, we can just save this page and come back to the contest. And this is good to know about just so you know that you can edit your contest. We'll come under the one that we created and click edit. And we can actually modify this picture by clicking on it. And it says current image preview. We can just delete this and save this. Let's exit back out, come to seed prod landing pages, and let's go back and edit this contest. Let's go ahead and save this and preview again. And now you can see that that picture is gone. OK, great. Now let's create our actual landing page with the design and everything included. Let's enter maybe three different headlines. The first one, I want this to say win the ultimate. So this will be the first part of our sentence. We can go ahead and duplicate this. And on the second one, let's change this to family vacation getaway package. And we can duplicate this one again and change the text to Orlando, Florida. Great. The next thing I want is some text underneath this. And don't worry about the style quite yet. We're going to get to that. Now, maybe not so much text. We can modify this based on the length so that it coordinates with the right handed side. We can remove some of this text for now. And another great option to pull people in would be to offer more content on this page to tell people about your giveaway or your business even and services. So let's put a video right here and I'll change the block settings and I'll put in a video about Orlando. Now we're not affiliated with this video, but it is a popular Orlando video. So I'll include it here. Ideally you want to include a video that you created so you can talk about the details of your contest. Okay, great. Now it doesn't look like very much, but this is all of the content that we're going to have on the page. You, of course, have many different options here for buttons and images and lists and contact forms and social sharing. You have so much that you could include here. You could actually create a full solo page here if you wanted to. I'm going to select this section. That's the purple part right here. We're going to go ahead and add a background, but we want the background image. I'm going to use a stock image. I'm going to do a search here for maybe an aerial beach. And I'm just going to pick one that I like here. There we go. I found this beach here. I just clicked on it and now it's imported into our page. You can change the background position, whatever would look best. You can switch this around. I'm going to go with maybe 100% width bottom. And I'm going to go under the advanced tab for this section and under spacing. I'm going to take the padding off the right side and the left side. I'm going to uncheck this and maybe do 50 on the top and 50 on the bottom. Next, I want to select the row. So that's the blue part in here. And I want to change the background color. Let's go ahead maybe with a blue color. But we want this to be see-through a little bit. So let's bring the opacity down. And I think I might actually go with a darker blue here. Something like that looks good. Great. Now let's come under the advanced tab for this row and we'll come down to border. We have a border radius here. Let's add N and that'll add a little bit of curvature to the corners. If you like, you can play with the spacing if you want a little bit more spacing on the edge. So for example, maybe we could do 10 on every edge here. Next, let's go ahead and select our headlines here because they're hard to read here. So let's go ahead and change the color of everything, all the text here to white. If you like, you can come under your global settings and colors and you have your headlines here and you have your text here and you can change your buttons, links and backgrounds if you like as well. That changed everything for us. Now we can change the fonts here. I'm going to use multiple fonts. So I'm not going to use the global CSS. This first one, let's go under advanced topography and I'm going to search for courier. I think it's under the standard fonts here and that looks pretty good. I'll do the same one to the bottom font here. Let's use courier. You can change the weight here if you like. So if you wanted it more bold or normal, I'll just leave it for normal for now. Next, we have the family vacation getaway package. We can change this and I'm going to change the font size first. I definitely want this a little bit bigger. Let's say somewhere around here. We'll have to adjust that based on the font though. So let's look for one that stands out. I'm going to look for Acme. And I think we want that a little bit bigger. Let's put this around 65. 60 looks good. Okay, great. Now we can put a text shadow on here if we like. I'm going to do, instead of the default ones, let's do a custom. And the color, I'm going to do maybe a dark blue. And let's do four horizontal, 
or vertical. You can add a little bit of blur there or you can take it off. I'm going to take it off completely. And I think that looks pretty good. Let's come back to the content and in our little text editor here for where the text is, let's highlight all of this. We can open our toolbar toggle and we have a background color here. Let's open this and I'm going to select that sand looking color right here. Okay, great. Let's go ahead and update a few things. First thing I want to do is push some of the text down here a little bit further. Let's click the advanced settings for this top headline and let's add some top margin of about 30 pixels. We can save that and preview it. You can see that that's more even with the top here. For our text here for the body, let's go ahead and under advanced styles topography and let's change this to courier as well. Again, if you like, you could change this under the fonts. But right now we're using two different fonts here, but if you modify them on the block level, that'll override your global CSS. Okay, great. Now this does look a little bit squished, so we can come back, select the row, and we can actually change the width here if we like. We can make it come out a little bit further, and let's just see what that looks like. And there we go. That looks pretty good. So you could add maybe some more content here or a little bit more design if you like. So for example, we could add a divider, which I'll place underneath here. We could do a dotted line, maybe make it white. You could bring the width down, and you could change the alignment if you like. Let's go ahead and save this, and we'll preview this one more time. And there you go. This is looking really good. So if you want the content to align perfectly horizontally, what you can do is select the row. And if you come down, we have this option here under vertical and then center here. Let's go ahead and save this and preview. And now all of the content will be perfectly aligned from the top and bottom and everything should be perfectly aligned with each other in both separate columns. So there you go. This is what your final page could look like. You could just update this based on what the contest or giveaway is that you're giving away. You could change your background the colors, the message, the font, but the layout, it works pretty well. You could add small design elements. For example, on this row, we could change this to be a little bit darker, even a different color. We could also add a drop shadow on this as well, if we like. So here's a custom one that we could do. We could put a dark blue on this and we could blur it and change the spread on that if, as well, if we like. So it looks like it's popping off the page a little bit. Let's go ahead and save that and preview. And there you go. You can see just how easy it is to work with Seedprod to make adjustments, to build pages and even full blown websites. And it works fantastic with Rafflepress to grow your email list, website traffic and social media followers with viral giveaways and contests. Now that you know how to create a killer contest landing page in 2022, maybe you'd like to check out this video on how to run an online giveaway for beginners using Rafflepress. This will help guide you through how to create your first online giveaway in more detail. Thanks for watching and I'll see you in the next video.